Nat 20. Welcome back to Deal with Demons. We're in our previous episode. Our adventurers just went to a bar, had a good time. Someone was unconscious and had too many drinks. And blew some fire out of a couple of orifices. Uh, I did not have a Lazarus time. and Ryan ended up fighting where Ryan's brother was kidnapped. And then Blaze chatted with Erdogan a little bit, looked over his book of his books and his new weapon. And then Elendal ended up discovering a lot of what was happening at that moment. So he found where Fasmir was fighting a dragon. He found where the old wizard's cabin is. And he just checked out all that was happening in Ait. So we left off with Elendal waking up. Hell yeah. With Lazarus and Ryan at the house where his brother was kidnapped. And then with Farron and Blaze going to find Elendal and then go off to... Were you going to the dragon first or the wizard first? We're going to look for the flower. Okay. That's where we find uh, Elendal. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll start with that. So, oh, also to preface pre this, uh, Blaze and Farron, you both will have one point of exhaustion. Ryan will too, since you haven't taken a rest. You technically had a rest, but you're super hungover right now, so I'm going to count that as one point of exhaustion anyway. How dare yeah. you? I took a 24-hour nap. <laughs> one point of exhaustion is just Son disadvantage on skill checks, right? Uh, it is, yeah, disadvantage on ability checks. Nice. That's easy. Just come hop in the hole for a bit. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch over and make sure you guys sleep well. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to make our way to the bandit's house soon, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh... Elendil, please roll a strength check as you're trying to get back above ground. Yeah, oh, yeah. you ain't going anywhere so this is dig you up. Easy. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So you punch one arm up and it goes up, yeah. but it's kind of stuck at the moment. <laughs> so it's kind of just like your wrist is waving, and then you punch the other arm up, and you're able to keep punching up and up and up, and you're able to slowly get yourself out of the hole. Nice. Um, so now I'm finally out standing. Yeah. All right, I shake myself off, get all that dirt off of me, all that grime. Must be um, great for the skin, though. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a nice mud bath. Oh, Slowly definitely. My some dirt. <laughs> and you see this painting just standing up, uh, <laughs> just right in front of where your hole was. Oh, yeah. Sick. Um, I think this is the painting of the, just like, five Kotoa smiling and waving from a lake. I thought it was like a ship at sea or something. No, that's, that, away, I think that's boys. the one that you guys that they initially put down, but All then right. Blaze didn't want to put an ex expensive painting there, so he put the crappiest one is in his mind. How far how far out of town am I again? Uh is she still in town? Is it no? Because the tunnel the tunnel underneath went outside of the Oh uh, yeah. 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 So not too far? Uh, yeah, not too far at all. There's, like, a little forest just out of town that it, it kind of opened up to. Alright. Um, I shake myself off, get all that dirt off. Uh, I grab the paint, because <laughs> I think this is probably worth <laughs> not to sell. Um, go to the artist. <laughs> and then, um, I'm gonna find Lazarus, because I know he's got my fucking marbles and <laughs> here's the question <laughs> does he remember what he saw in the afterlife because yeah you, i i thought i'd do this time. yeah you do this time because oh, it's a different first, afterlife this yeah, is yeah. like limbo versus before it was the true afterlife my, like transition yeah, yeah. would have been super dope if he didn't <laughs> shut up <laughs> not fun time for me so um uh, after about a couple of minutes of finally being out in sunlight again you do see your two companions approaching you hey good morning sunshine <laughs> How'd you sleep? <laughs> yeah. Best time in a while. <laughs> Considering I don't normally sleep. You slept like the dead! <laughs> you Good will one. be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, some bad news. Where's Lazarus? That's the part of the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. He's not dead. Listen, Farron and I are leaving. Why? Because... We don't really want to do this. We have a promise to fulfill. I don't want to. <laughs> We're going to go find the dragon and the wizard in the mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah I saw both those things. What? Yeah, I, I was uh, 
watching from above the entire time. Oh, so, oh shit, where are they? Uh, well, well, uh, I saw Frasmir up uh, with the dragon. He was attacking it and turning into a fox. And, <laughs> and uh, he was up in between two mountains, I believe. Nice. It's and then, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot to take in. It really is. Oh, I forgot you were seventeen again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you did you see the the, the wizard or the flower? I, s- I saw a, a nice cabin made out of some oak wood uh, up in the mountains a little bit. Sounds uh, most wizardly. <laughs> yeah, I hear wizards like oak, so <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming that's him. It's the only real cabin up there for a while. So hey, he might know more about what uh, my my things, my weird things that happen. You're Disappearing in smokes of fire, yeah, weird things of fire, all the spooky stuff. See, this is why we need to go. We got, we better you go. You better lead us there. Aaron, though, yeah, you gotta lead us. Okay, but what about Ryan and Lazarus? We'll come back for them later. They said that bitch find has us. my balls. You get the marbles back when you find them. I definitely want those back right now. Look, we'll help you get your stuff back afterwards. Well, this is more important. They can't be that far ahead, can they're they? We far. just got a letter from Fazimir. They're at least it's... one to two days away. Yeah, the but raven, I saw that. He's gonna die. We have to go now. He's fine. He can turn into a fox. This is a dragon we're talking about. Listen, Anna, yeah. please. Lazarus please. and Ryan can't be that far ahead. They're I just want to get my stuff from Lazarus quick. No, no, it's not quick. Oh, it won't take that much. It won't take that much Listen, long. We're gonna show up. Listen, you're young. You have no real concept of time. <laughs> no, man, the concept of distance. <laughs> it's a day or two. No, seriously. Listen, man. We. I also gotta sell this painting. <laughs> Fuck that painting! It's the cheapest painting I can see. Listen, the point is, if you go, they're gonna recruit you to help save Ryan's maybe brother. There's not oh, even a guarantee. That dwarf that got. Uh, snatched and taken to a, a weird house in the town. You see everything, but no. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, that, that house is not that far. We can go meet them up quick, no, and I'll get my far. items. And then I'll leave. <laughs> Are you gonna come with us? Well, you're going to fight the dragon, right? Yes. I don't know if I really care about that either. Evil is in great danger. I'm leaving. Artemis, <laughs> listen. I'm going with you. Artemis is heading towards there. You'll be there in a day's worth of time. Point, point me. Point me in the direction of the wizard's yeah, cabin. Show us where the cabin is. Um, Do it. Point. Would I know a generally yeah. from here? Um, point in the direction <laughs> you believe the cabin's in. <laughs> Please point out now. <laughs> do it. Uh, um, Don't do, I, do I know where the artist shop is? <laughs> We know where the artist uh, shop is, so you, don't try and fool us. I guess You'd I would. probably easily be able to find it. All right. Um, I'm going to say, listen, boys. Um, I will aid you in your quest. Hi! <laughs> but first, I need to get my shit back from Lazarus. I need to send a raven to Eul and warn those people to leave town as soon as possible. And I need to sell this painting. Uh, Please just point in the direction of the cabin so I may depart the cabin, immediately. You go send your ravens, and we will we'll complete meet, three things at once. We'll meet you at the wizard's place. Why don't you guys just tag along? It won't take me very long. Because the moment boring. we find Ryan and Lazarus, it's going to be, Oh, they did come to help. Oh, please help us. <laughs> Pity party for Ryan. <laughs> Fuck that guy, okay? I'm going to the wizard's place. And literally on the entire walk from there to here, it's been boring. There's nothing this thing going on. It's just trees. <laughs> and nature sounds. Okay, well... <laughs> I need to, we need to warn you and stop more havoc from happening. So let me do that. When we sell this painting, I'll meet Lazarus. It'll be like two minutes. I just want to get my crap back from him. Uh, two minutes and you won't even be at the shop yet. I'm not waiting. Then don't wait. I'm going to walk off. I should be point us in the direction of Point the direction. I'm going to tell him though. I am um, going to pull so out my gun. I need to either. So the fastest way back would be through the bandage house. Is it? Okay, then I'm gonna head back through that cave. Is there like a small rock around? Yep. I'm gonna pick it up and throw it at his back. Okay. <laughs> Chuck it up. Uh, just roll to it. <laughs> <laughs> that twenty. That twenty. You throw this rock and it hits Elrond perfectly in the center of, his, of the back of his head. <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a hard hit, too. Oof. Does he wake up with full hit points? 
I assume so. Let's just assume I, I, so. I think you would, because you're a revenant. I think that... Yeah, it's a, it was just a long nap, really. Okay, I'm just saying, because how funny would be... Because <laughs> you're funny yeah, to die unconscious of... <laughs> Do you guys feel that rock hit me? You do. It, and it hurts. Does it just stick in my skull? or <laughs> Like, my skin's probably pretty tender. Uh, it, ma- it makes you bleed, but it doesn't stick in. Alright, um, I turn around and I just stare down Farron, and I just I just stare at him. I stare back. <laughs> Baylor, no! Please, just point us where the fucking wizard is. Point! I... I point to the entrance of the game. Because <laughs> okay. I'm not technically wrong. <laughs> I'm not technically wrong. <laughs> I'm going to continue to walk in. That is technically if... wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> they probably got to go back through town to go up, right? Or, like, no, it's easier is, for them to go through the... This would be to the uh, northwest of... Oh, okay. Or yeah, actually just north of town. No, then I'm technically wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't admit it though. I'm gonna keep walking. Here we go, please! I walk through the okay. the bandit cave. Coward! <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you walk through the cave uh, and you leave the house. You do see so, that the two bandits are lying dead on the floor. Nice. Um, is there anything? Any more paintings in that room? Did you guys take off the paintings, or did you just leave them in the room? You guys took some... Or no, what you, no, you saw the crown. Do someone it. rolled <laughs> them all up and put them somewhere. No, I didn't touch the paintings. Yeah, you did. I thought you rolled them all up. That was... No, I, I gathered them all up at the... <clears throat> oh, yeah, I gathered, I gathered up all the paintings at the yeah. base of the hole, so I could keep taking seven and They're out, still I at think. the base of the hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you see all of the paintings. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bunch. Okay. <laughs> as yeah. much as I can carry up the, the, the ladder. Okay, uh, are you grabbing, like, the most expensive ones? Of course. Because you, you would know, like, which ones are... Like, quality? Yeah. Quality and stuff Yeah, like that. of course. I'm taking the ones that yeah. are, like, yeah. Okay. Your parents would be disappointed in you! Ooh. <laughs> that hits you hard. <laughs> okay, wait, but wait, how but would he you know... doesn't have parents because Would you know dead. I'm taking the paintings, though? Well, I see you walk away, and you're like uh, leaving me. Oh, uh, at least I'm not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that also that. hits me. Uh, <laughs> Listen, buddy, I don't fucking care about any of you anymore. Seriously, I just want to find this wizard. You just gotta point in the direction, and you'll never see me again. Do you think your voice echoes that far into the tunnel? Yeah, I'd like, be able to hear. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all I need is a direction. Go down. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what does that mean, Tony? Ask me. What does that mean? I mean, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> we got you there. That's it. Let's find Fasimir. Let's go do that. Yeah, yeah. and we depart. Okay. <laughs> Split into three groups. Yeah. How exciting! Okay, so first, <laughs> Andrel, you're going to the art shop. Yeah, I'm gonna grab as many of those paintings as I can. Probably like three or four, like whatever I can take yeah. up with me up the ladder. I say you can probably take five. Okay, so I, I take five of the nicest ones, and then um, I go to the art shop. Uh, or yeah, I, I try to, I try to find it, and then go to the art shop. Um, I don't recall, but when I was like, when I was in my bird's eye view, um. I, I saw them go into the art shop. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. But I don't... Yeah, I guess I didn't hear about all what happened with the them getting ripped off, so... You did see uh, Farron enter the art shop with the crown of Taltania yeah. and leave without it, though. Oh, that's true, yeah. But with a big bag in his hand. <laughs> mm. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to find the shop and enter. Okay. Yeah, you find it. And you're greeted by the exact same uh, merchant... And she welcomes you in and asks if you're looking to buy or sell. You like art. I love art, as you can see. I got uh, some lovely paintings here that I would love to uh, bargain a deal for. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's see what you have. And she looks at them and... Got a good Picasso. Yeah, she... <laughs> No one, right. uh, she tells you no. she'll give you 900 for all of them. 900? Yeah. 
Um, you believe that they're worth around a thousand one hundred, like altogether. Y- oh, um, so nine hundred. We, we, she's not a franchise. This is like that's probably why she's giving you so little. Um, she doesn't have a lot of money. We did take a lot of her money. She has to sell everything, which means she needs to get a profit yeah. too. Well, it's been Dude, a day. That's sure basic consumerism. Oh yeah, yeah. Some consumerism. It's like Skyrim, um, her funds have reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> I think we made that same joke last time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, so I know they're about like uh, 1,100 yeah. gold pieces. Worth. Okay, so that's 200. Yeah, 200 gold. Um, I say, uh, what about uh, 950? Nine hundred, and we've got a deal. Why is bargaining always so fucking? Because Gage oh. hates us when we bargain. <laughs> yeah, it's a vendetta for him. <laughs> um, hmm. Say nine hundred and ask for like a souvenir. <laughs> Roll the trinket list. <laughs> nine hundred uh, and your digits. <laughs> You also do notice that the crown of Telthany is not here. Oh. Oh, that um, bitch sold that so quick. <laughs> did I Did I find out that that was the crown of Telthany? I think you did, yeah. You would have known, I think. Okay. Um, I say, hey, uh, whatever happened to that the crown? The crown of Telthany. I think I, one of my friends came in here and sold it. That's right. Um, oh, you just put yourself on our shit list. Now. <laughs> <laughs> how how much did you uh, sell it to him for? Uh, that's up. That's there's a customer and merchant. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like agreement. Or agreement. Like, where non disclosure. Yeah, non non disclosure. Confidential. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah. Nice. Good word. So I can't actually tell you how much he sold it to me for. Yeah, but he's my friend, so it's like, it, what does it matter? We're not friends anymore. Um, <laughs> can I insight her to like possibly get an idea of like, like her response that like if she sold it to him really cheap or not? Oh, uh, sure. that's maybe a stretch, yeah. but hell yeah! It's gonna be how man. shifty is she being? And there's a three. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not able to incite at all how right. much she bought for, where where it is right now, or how much she sold. If she sold it, how much she sold it for? I say, I'm like, all right, that's all good. I was just wondering. Um, nine hundred and ten gold pieces. Sure. Beautiful. You got yourself a deal. Oh, wow. Great. Um, awesome. And she hands you all the gold. Dude, nice. I am officially <laughs> higher than middle class. Do you see that she actually starts to put those paintings she just bought from you up in the store? <laughs> Immediately just hanging yeah. up this way <laughs> snow dance <dantong. laughs> Um I ca like I like slowly put my my gold away just to casually wait to see if she puts up the tags, like how much she okay. prices them. <laughs> that was an each. Yeah, she she doesn't actually put on the, the tags yet. That'd be such a bad yeah. fucking move by her dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, all right, why is it, uh, have yourself a lovely day. Thank you for, uh, doing business with me. Thanks, you too. Um, I, I, yeah, I guess I head out at the store. Okay. Um, okay. as I walk away, I casually look through the window to see if she gets up the prices. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to be kind of almost waiting for you to walk away before she puts any price takes up. Okay. Let it go, Tony. I walk past the window, but I stop and wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, she starts seeing something else. I like peek back in the window. And... <laughs> yeah, so you're still not putting the tags up yet. Yeah. All right, I don't really care. I'm just curious. It sounds um, like you care. <laughs> well, I just want to know. Like, I want to know how much profit she's making off. Just because, like, you know, Jesus. Like, I care, but I don't care. Um, is there like a a Raven rental service? <laughs> 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 I need to rent a Raven. <laughs> Ravens uh, for rent. <laughs> yeah, you're able to find a bunch of ravens in like a cage where people <laughs> Just use catch them on the street. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ravnica's raven rental. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Uh, there's a sign that just says "ravens for use." Nice. Raven ravens. 
Alright. Uh, so like, dude! What if they're just untrained ravens? And you just put your message and they just fly somewhere? By really cheap one, the, the raven just like walks. <laughs> just walk out the store, you're like, oh. You gotta um, pay extra. And did you see, like, there's a book full of, like, notepads or piece of paper and a uh, quill to write stuff on? Is it free? Yep. What? Wow, it's like the software. Hogwarts, like the, the owl chamber. You just walk um, in, you give it to an owl, and he flies away. All right. Um, I so I okay, so I go and write a note. I write one to, um, yeah, because there's like a there's like a king of eel, right? Yep. Uh, or, it'd be a lord of eel. All right. There are only a few kings in Tiltania. I was one right. of the main, main you still are, cities. I, still, well, yeah, still I write so, like Avrancha is still to be, and there would be one in Summersail and a couple on the west coast. Okay. Yeah. Um. So first of all, actually, I write one letter to my parents. <laughs> I say, dear. Uh, parents <laughs> well your mom is the only one alive though because i remember in your backstory you said your dad had died in war or something oh fuck yeah Rip. oh dear mom <laughs> which i think i made a mistake of the last time yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay dear mom, i see i'm dead too. Uh, <laughs> 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 um i write uh dear dear mother um it is me arendelle I hope you are doing well. Uh, just a heads up, please leave town. <laughs> there, uh, Artemis and the Shavada are headed to take over Eel. And <laughs> Shavada. <laughs> oh shit! I'm in a Shardana guy. He's dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get on with it <laughs> yeah they're headed to take over eel and uh they have i forget how many ships would they have five or something 50 uh five huge ones like bigger than any you've ever seen and yeah. then about 20 other ones all right so i just say um they're they're headed with a huge army and knowing uh eel's defense um military uh, we will not be able to, there's a very small percentage. We will, you guys will succeed. Um, please hurry and gather up everyone and try to leave town as quickly as possible. Um, isn't your mom one of the military commanders? Too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it, like, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> the, 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 there's no way they're going to win. So yeah, like, yeah. just, you know, she's going to get that. She's going to that. <laughs> Dear mom, I'm you're shitting your job. <laughs> Leave you all. <laughs> <laughs> quit um i hope all is going well uh everything is fine with me <laughs> i am achieving my wildest dreams <laughs> with love <laughs> arendelle still um, alive <laughs> he is alive <laughs> um i fold that up uh is there a i find the nicest raven <laughs> okay and i a golden raven <laughs> Uh, it's an eagle. <laughs> I, I uh, tie the note to the raven and I send him on his way. Yeah, it flaps and like goes super fast. That yeah, it's, it's Mach five. Yeah. <laughs> Cow! Cow! I'll be there in three days. Cow! Cow! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> and then suddenly you hear a loud smack in the tree. <laughs> I am um, dead. <laughs> I write another one, uh, another letter to the Lord of Eel. I'm like, uh, my my liege. Um, there, Artemis and his boys are headed towards Eel, <laughs> and they will, and they're gonna take over Eel. <laughs> they are a huge threat, and I don't think Eel's equipped to deal with them. I w I suggest that you gather everyone in town and leave and head to the nearest safest town. Um, I don't remember which one is. Uh, the left one. Either Clout or Artist. Didn't they come from Quell? No, they came from June. And okay. you did see a small encampment going towards a wrist. All right. So I tell them to head for Quell then. Uh, that's probably your safest bet. Uh, although you are a lord, so I cannot tell you what to do. <laughs> this is my recommendation. Please. Um, Don't talk. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> Aaron no. And I sign that one. Slip Still up. Alive. Stamper. Tie it. To the raven, I send that one on its way okay. as well. 
Um, uh, oh, um, who else do I want to write to while I'm here? <laughs> Um, bro. Wow, this is bro. the rest of the session. <laughs> this is the episode. Dude, Dude, just gonna write this to fucking everyone. guy writing letters. Why don't you send one to the to fucking Abrancha and be like, hey, how you doing? Doing good? <laughs> send him a raven. We'll make sure you're fine. Send one to oh, Cornell. He, he's I got the... I have the Rocky Talkie. Yeah. Oh, send um, one to fucking Stillsby. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hey, Z-Man, what's up? <laughs> hey, how's it feel to be king, eh? It was X-Men. Uh, X-Men, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but, oh, we missed Sarathos's, uh Oh, well... <laughs> oh, come on, no. Let's you go. and Ryan probably missed it, but you would have heard Erdron start playing in the bar. You probably would have, too, and then Zarathos went on stage after. Yeah, I, I was not paying attention. Do I know where Zarathos is? He's in the Hungry Bard. Well, like, uh, like I, I saw right him now? go in, like, before. Uh, do I know he played a show? Uh, yeah, you do, because I right. think he told you guys he was playing a show. I'm going to write him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Tony! Remember <laughs> <laughs> what I said? Like, five sessions, we have not progressed. <laughs> this is our chance. This is why. Don't write a letter to the wizard and tell him not to help you. I will. <laughs> I know where he is. Don't you please. I'm just going to write one to him and say, sorry, missed your show. With love. Okay. Oh, Arendelle, P.S. I'm alive again. Slap that baby up. Send her on her way. I didn't know you died. Yeah, you didn't know you died. <laughs> 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 all right it's fine um and now i want to head uh i'm gonna head to that house the one that yeah. um what lazarus and ryan are headed to yeah because i want to get my shit back so i'll go to you and ryan so <laughs> oh again uh duncan wasn't unable to make it this session so he's not in this so i'm just ha- having him as an npc uh so ryan comes <laughs> towards you and he tells you that the other guys weren't coming they were going to go fight the dragon and go to the wizard. I kind of want to fight a dragon now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Man. You're fucking the best. I mean, this isn't going to take on to get Rumen back. Hmm. Nah. Hmm. <laughs> If you do leave, I, I can just have... Like, the next time Duncan comes to record, we, I could just do a se- section just with him for what's happening when we all record together. Would I have so known would how like many, split party. Would I have known how many bandits went in? Uh, you saw two pairs of footprints. Okay. One heavier than the other because you assume it was carrying Rumen. Cool. Well, I feel like this is going to take, like, no time at all. Uh, let's just charge in there, get this done with, and leave. Great. I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace on us so we have better stealth. And you do, now you do see Aelinadol coming. Okay. Uh oh. Lazarus! <laughs> hey! Hey. <laughs> Where are they? In the house. <laughs> yeah, the bandits are in the house. You know what I'm talking about. I stick out my hand. I'll, I'll give you your potions back. I, I put potions in my bag, and then I reach my hand back out again. The balls. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hear that from you anytime soon, but uh, here. <laughs> I'll give you my balls. Here, you know what? I'm like, what? why'd you take my stuff? I was uh, keeping them safe. I, who knows who would have... Uh, robbed your grave you know there's some shady characters in this town that's true there's some bandits that steal artwork and then try to sell it and that's just wrong (laughs) you're a good guy Lazarus I'm gonna give him one of the balls actually okay one of the marbles I'm gonna reach my hand in there um I'm not gonna know which one yeah so just roll a d20 for me um actually I'm gonna give him the the red one because the red one is the the, oh, the, the fireball. Yeah. Because that one was the one I switched with. Uh, yeah. I think I switched it with you, right? When you were causing the distractions, and there was like a huge fire dragon that went up and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, I'm gonna give him the the red fireball one. I'm okay, like, sure. here. I'm like, this is a 
This one is just one of those fire, uh, fireball, ball, marble things. <laughs> the ones we used when we had to, uh, what was it? Like we destroyed. Part you of were causing like, a distraction. distraction. Yeah. The ones we used to uh, cause uh, those distractions. Oh, thank you. This will be useful. This will. <laughs> this will be good for another distraction. <laughs> This would be good on an old, wicked house with a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> bandits in it. That's awesome. What I was <laughs> Imagine that Duncan gets back. We're like, oh yeah, we killed your brother. <laughs> Possibly your brother. Um, so I'll say, are you guys uh, going after that dwarf that got kidnapped? Yeah. Quick in and out. Like two minutes. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I'm not really super interested. <laughs> I... Really think we need to go to Yule. Artemis is gonna attack it in a day's time. Um, but y'all don't wanna go. I mean. I'd rather, if we're gonna waste time and do something, um, I'd rather go kill a dragon. Same. <laughs> Ryan says, though. come on, this'll be super quick. There's but, only two guys in there, we can take them super quick. Hey, since I'm here, I do wanna test out my new blades though. <laughs> oh! Your blade is ready. Your sword is ready. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> if you want, I can say that you went there before going here. Yeah. That's that's probably better if okay. we do. Yeah. And right. you had to pay the second half of how much it cost. Because you, when you got oh, it, yeah, you it was set, what, yeah. what was it? Uh, Might have been 100. We could, we could say like 50. Well, I mean, it, uh, yeah, I guess so 50 you'd have to pay 50 it. more than... <sighs> I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess you're in charge. You got a lot of gold now. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> yeah. you have to worry about it. Hey, man, I got to keep my higher higher middle class uh, status going. <laughs> Over a thousand. Um, but nine thousand. Uh, um, it'll do an additional one d four of necrotic damage. Ooh, awesome possum. Ew, ew. Ooh, woo. Notices you necromance. So are you guys going to go into the house? I am. You are? Okay. Would I have been able to cast Pass Without Trace on Aaron Dye as well? Sure, why not? Oh, shit. Um, I'll, I, I will say, uh, if this takes longer than two minutes, I swear. Three minutes later, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> so, <laughs> fight. Oh, uh, is there windows on this place? Yeah, there. there. Oh, Check the windows, see if they're locked. Uh, a few of the windows seem cracked, and there's one that's actually broken. Uh, two of them you find are completely locked, though. Okay. Is there a window on a second floor that's open? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I'll test the front door. <laughs> uh, it is locked. I'll use my thieves tools that I bought last session. Okay, just do a sleight of hand check. Or I guess thieves tools check. I think it's a dex check. Dex. I'm not exactly sure. We should just knock. And when they come to the door, just stab them. You know, like they open it, they're like... Great well, plan. I got a 14. I don't know if I'm supposed to add anything to that. Uh, you would be proficiency. and then I'm not proficient in thieves tools. And then your dex. Let me double check. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it right now. Because, uh... Uh, let's add your proficiency bonus and ability checks to make this arm. Yeah, so proficiency with these tools lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to disarm traps or open locks. So they're, if you're proficient in them, then you add your proficiency to your check. But if you're not, then it's just a straight roll. Okay, Okay. 14. Uh, you're able to unlock the door. Cool. <clears throat> and I'll sneak in. Okay. Uh, Ryan sneaks in too. Are you going in? Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go faster if I do more of the work. Uh, as you enter, you hear struggling and muffled, like, screaming or shouting. Uh, upstairs? Upstairs, yes. I will sneak up the stairs. Okay. Uh, just roll stealth. And you can too. If you're following. Yeah, um, I'm gonna stealth anyway. Like, I, I might yeah. check out the main floor, but I'm gonna okay. stealth. 24. Mm, is that a... You also get a plus 10. Uh, I'll say that's 19. Ugh, bless your heart. Uh, 21. That's plus 10, too, because you used... Oh, past the 31. Yeah. Yeah. So both of you are super quiet. No, no one anywhere would notice you. 
Anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Uh, well, this is happening. I'll go back to Farron and Blaze. Is sorry, is Ryan stealthing as well? Yeah. Doesn't he have disadvantage? Because he's got like big. No, he's wearing his mithril armor. Yeah. Uh, my apologies. He's still got time a... for a spinoff. He still got a eighteen. <laughs> so okay. Oh, cool. Oh. Uh, Enough time, baby. Uh, so, are you guys going north or to the west? So, you know that the dragon is to the northwest, and you know that the uh, uh, cabin is to the Don't north know. somewhere. You're not sure exactly where. The apprentice just said north. Yep. And Tony didn't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you do know where the flowers are. You know that it's between the two mountains. Where should we go first? Should we find the flower first, or? Should we head to the dragon? You know, I mean, what sounds like a lot more fun? Picking a flower or killing a dragon? You do know that there are some hags near the flowers, too. Are there flowers on the way way or out of the way? Out of the way. I don't want to deal with any stinky hags. Yeah, I mean, like, worst comes to worst, we go fight that dragon. Get some killer, like... Battle experience, and then we fight the hags. It's easy peasy, right? I mean, that's an experience you just can't give up in my in my brain. So yeah, we're gonna go fight that dragon. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna go fight that dragon. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still great. don't want to fight the dragon. <laughs> 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 but fuck it, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna head towards we're the, dragon. Fight the dragon. Okay. This whole time you haven't wanted to f- fight a dragon. Now that you have only one person with you, you want to fight a dragon. Fast <laughs> forward to the dragon fight. <laughs> <laughs> we all do our things, and now we're at the dragon. <laughs> yeah, cue the montage. It's the Eye of the Dragon. That's not the right song. Eye of the Dragon. It's the Eye of the Dragon. It's the thrill of the fight. It's the Eye of the Tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah. No, but was he doing, doing a parody? I was trying to do the Rocky. This is unimportant. <laughs> Can we fast forward to the dragon? <laughs> uh, after traveling for about three days, about <laughs> two hours, you see a cart in the distance. Was <laughs> it our cart? <laughs> well, uh, does anyone take it in the cart? <laughs> I think we did. We leave our cart. We, yeah. I, we, we left sure that. We, did. Yeah. we didn't even think of that. You this left it in town. Would did I have thought at, of at that? The Sables. Yeah. Would I have thought of that? I don't know. You're like super excited about going to the. Yeah, I definitely did not think I'm about it. I'm also super smart. How about uh, also roll a d100? A d100. Yeah. yeah over like over fifty. Remember, under fifty, you don't. I I. Sixty four. Yeah, you remember. All right, we got the card. Right, um, we're in a card. Remember though. Um. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> also, uh, Lovecraft exists. Exists. Yeah, I know. He's in the cart with us. <laughs> I wouldn't leave without my wolf. You fucking stop it, Tony. You almost left without the cart. <laughs> You're trying to make me look dumb, Tony. I don't appreciate it. Okay, we we see this cart. Yeah. Hey, do you think that's that the uh, that, that shop dude? The shopkeeper? The shopkeeper? The trinket dude that we said we were... Oh, you weren't there! Oh, no. He wasn't there, was he? No. Mini detour. And I'm gonna... Yeah. We're, let's make our way to the cart. Okay. okay. As you approach the cart, you see that it is Mr. Mythics. <laughs> yes. So much excitement there. Blaze like this, like a little... Yes! Oh, shit. Fist pump! We're supposed to kill his brother. No, we're supposed to... Or is that him? We're supposed, we're supposed to kill to... him. One, oh, yeah. Sorry, hey, I get that mixed fair, up. Fair, fair. We're, yeah. we're, we're supposed to fucking rob this guy. <laughs> what? We're supposed to rob this guy. I don't stuff. know if I commit evil acts. I yeah. think you do. Let's You're a rebellious uh, team, dude. I just want to say, I rolled for this, so... Zero to five was you found Mr. Mythics. Ninety-five to hundred, you would have found Mr. Mythers. I rolled zero. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, seriously. We we were to- we were asked by the this guy's brother uh, to come take this guy's stuff because he's trying to scam his business by selling it. Oh shit. Okay. So we have to go up to this guy as a good deed and rob him as a good deed. Kind of. Okay, but. <laughs> We're not going to kill him. All right. Do you want to try your charm person thing again? All right. And we can okay. render him unconscious. All right. Yeah, that I, I'm down with that. I can agree to that. Fuck yeah. So I murder. In other words, Mr. Mithers from Mr. Myth- Mithers Mythical Mystics had asked this crew to Later. capture and steal from Mr. M- Mr.'s <laughs> Mystical Mythics. Or no. Uh, and to <laughs> knock Mr. M- 
Misters, unconscious and brain Mr. Misters to Mr. Mithers from at Mr. Mithers Mystical Mystics. The point is that this is the guy we're supposed to knock unconscious. Yes. Right? Okay. Dude, it's easy. It's just like hitting mailboxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's, let's act natural. All right, okay. And then charm him. If All that right. doesn't work, then we'll just fuck him up. Yeah, well, I... Not violently, though. <laughs> I am only saying. <laughs> I, I, I am the muscle here, okay? okay. You're looking at Dude. a certified trained monk. It's okay. Oh, okay. You only go to juvie. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, we, we go there, and I'm like, Hey! Hey! Mr. Misters! Yeah, the shop comes to a, a stop, and a uh, man walks out. He looks a lot like Mr. Mithers, but shorter and with... Uh, brown hair instead of, instead of gray hair, okay. and bl- green eyes instead of blue eyes. And he greets you and says, "Welcome. Would you guys like to buy anything from my shop?" I'll walk. Got up. a kind of a magic shop here. I'll walk up to him and I'll I'll put my hand on his shoulder, and I'll be like, "You now will kind of find me kind of cool." And I'll cast <laughs> charm person. Hey, roll a d twenty, please. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> It's fine. Mm. Really oh, we're good. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, what do I have to do? Save? Ah, that's a... You have a good DC. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 14. 14? You will now find me interesting. You got a... 11 plus 2. 13. Oh, yes! It worked! So he is charmed. He finds you very cool. He's charmed. Uh, it didn't work! Did it work? And he says, my friend, my friend, let me show you all that I have to offer. That you tell me. He puts his, ha- his arm around your shoulder. No, 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 no that's a stop. It touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mithers! Uh, Mr. Mr. Yes. Mithers? Yeah. Mr. Mithers. Mr. Mithics. Mithics. Whatever. Boy, is... We're taking your things now. I don't think you are. Tell, you tell him we're no, taking No, okay, things. look. <laughs> <laughs> There's an evil force that we're currently fighting. Okay, called the short Anna. Now they're, and a they're, black dragon! And a black dragon. Now they're in this area, and they're getting closer by the second. Um, now we brought this card here with us today, because we're going to take your stuff and place it in a secure vault, so you don't lose it, because if you don't, I guarantee you're not going to outrun a dragon in your little <laughs> shitty wagon here. We're trying to protect So we're things. protecting your things. Your business. And then later... Once the you know it's passed, and if you're still alive, <laughs> we'll bring your things back to you. No feet, not even a roll feet. persuasion. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus! But he's charmed with advantage. He is no, charmed, so it I just did. cancels out because we have disadvantage because we're exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I assist? Hold on. I guess. Up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, so that just with, by assisting it just means oh, that uh, seventeen no for me. Oh. 17. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, he says, I really appreciate you caring. Uh, I, I've i got lots of protective measures in this card I'm telling against you dragons not and work. stuff like okay, that. Okay, but like, imagine if you have your protective uh, things. But I, I can I'm make sure to give you guys a discount on anything you want to buy. I, I pull Farron off the side real quick. Um, can you convince him to, like, walk away for, like, five minutes? <laughs> can you convince him to put a bag over his own head and <laughs> tie his arms up? I could possibly just blast him away 15 feet. I was gonna say, like, I thought we weren't gonna be violent until, like, a last well, resort. Well, wind doesn't hurt people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna you do that. Remember we when... just take all this shit, and then we just run away. Because I, Cause... like, I don't mind killing him. I will do that. No, we're not doing that. Okay, I'm just saying, I can do that if That's... you need me to. Okay, but no, I'll like, what I can do. I'll blast him fifteen feet away. Okay, all right, and then he'll take. He's got to try and push through my wind, which That's my wind's one. really strong. And he's a little man. Now, also, I don't know if it'll work when I cast it, but I'm gonna try. I don't quite know how all this stuff works yet. But you've I, cast this before, though. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked, but I'm not sure how. Okay, but listen, just do it. Um, ah, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna make my way around. So, Mr. M- Mithers can't see me, yeah. and I'm gonna, Mr. S- I'm gonna start looking through like the the window, and I'll be like, "Okay, do it! I'm gonna get in there." Do, right, do, okay, do, okay. Do. Let's roll a Sebastian, remember when you you said that wind doesn't hurt people, and then do you remember the time when you shot a bunch of people, <laughs> <laughs> like like a fucking machine oh, gun at that monster? I fucking killed it. Yeah, twice. but I was like 22 when that happened. <laughs> Four. 
Uh, that was 21. just immature. And that was adult. Adult. Yeah. Yeah, you're able to easily sneak away. Nice. I rolled a 19 and a 17. And as you look through the window in the cart, you see a ton of, like, super magical things. Alright. Go! Oh. I'm gonna walk up to him. I'm gonna get onto the kind of side that's facing away from yeah. his wagon, so I don't blow the, over his wagon. Or blow him into his wagon. Um, Will this cancel out his charmedness? I don't think charm is person is... Is that concentration? It depends if he gets harmed. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking up the spell. It's right here. There it is. I'll look up charm for you. It is not concentration. No, yeah, it's not It's not concentration, yeah, yeah. but if you harm them, okay. then it wears off. But So you got to blow them away, but not too good. Until you or your companions do anything harmful. Yeah, yeah I guess the wind doesn't hurt Just convince them okay. that this is something cool. <laughs> but if he <laughs> falls and takes a lot of damage, then... Well, that's his fault. <laughs> Listen, the point is to be so far away, I have to fight through wind. I will right. be fucking gone yeah. before he gets there. I'm just gonna walk up and I'm gonna put my hands up over his face in like a heart shape. And I'm just gonna go. <laughs> oh I'm gonna blow through it. Okay. And cast cast to wind. I roll a d20. That's very cool. Yeah. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh, we're getting 11. Okay. He's gotta be a 14 in strength. Got an add one. Oh, yes, maybe. That's great, but not great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can spell like twice the distance that he initially wanted, and he just goes flying. He, but he lands softly in the snow, so he doesn't actually take any damage. Wow! So he goes nice. like thirty feet away. I yeah. smash that fucking window. <laughs> Let's get in there, man! <laughs> and I sort of like I jump in and I start throwing everything out towards Farron. Okay, you see, there are probably around twenty, twenty-five different well magical I... things in here. I have to keep the gust of wind up because it's concentration. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna throw everything outside and then I'll I'll, okay. I'll work it in. Yeah. I'll have Lovecraft like stand outside and I'll throw stuff on top of the back and he'll carry it over. Okay. But yeah. Uh, can I get it all? Uh, uh, he's gonna get up and try to go through your wind again. Why didn't you just? Because he's, he's gotta, able to. He got an eighteen like, car plus two. Okay, Why'd so you steal his cart? Every foot of movement he makes counts out of it? as two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So right. he gets a, uh, that about. Would be so he was sixty feet away. Half your movement. Or, to get he was up. thirty feet away, right? Thirty feet away. Half your movement to get up. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. So he so, charmed still, right? He didn't oh yeah, charmed. Charmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's not really too offended, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "This is a cool spell." <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say, like, "Don't worry, I'm cooling you off. It's a hot day." <laughs> uh, you see. Him happy that the wind's just blowing in his <laughs> hair and just he feels nice and stuff like that, but he's still walking forwards. He makes it about 10 feet and that's all. Yeah, I'll just keep it up. We're I'll actually in like time. five feet, I think. Blows. Just buy as much time as I can. And he's gonna try again. How much should he fails? Out? He gets blown back again. <laughs> <laughs> How much stuff do I have out now? Uh, like 80% of it. Keep it up just a little bit longer. He's gonna try again. No problem. <laughs> he's able to make the uh, five feet again. Oh, good. Perfect, perfect. And by now you've got everything out of the cart. Okay, I jump out and I have Lovecraft and I just start like running towards yeah. the cart to get it. Uh, he's blown back in. <laughs> he's he... blowing so perfectly. <laughs> does he see you doing that? Or are you he like... does. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, probably. I'm just cleaning up! <laughs> and he isn't happy about this. <laughs> he's charmed by you, not you. I know, I know. He's, ha- he's happy about being cooled off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm cool. I'm gonna, but yeah. he's trying to rough wrap the cart, but just can't actually do it. Okay, as I get everything in, yeah. I'm going to go to his cart, and I'm going to break the wheels. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't need him chasing after us. Uh, what are you breaking them with? Uh, I'm going to pull out... Uh, I probably could. I'm <laughs> fucking strong, dude. Uh, you do it with your hand mouth. I'm going <laughs> to use my... I, have, I believe I have a sword still in the, the bag. No, I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pull out the gun. <laughs> okay. Just smash the spokes okay. with the butt of it. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're able to break it. Pr- yeah. Pretty easily. Okay, perfect. Everything's in the cart. He can't chase us. Just push him back again, and then let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> He's still being blown back. He can't actually make any progress at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I'll just dispel the gust of wind and get in the cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck he out starts to run after you guys and just can't catch up. Then he gets into his car to try to go forward and the wheels are broken, so he can't <laughs> go anywhere. That was genius. High five! 
We killed it! Whoa, we nailed that. Okay, keep us heading towards the dragon. I'll go over what we got. Okay, it yeah, sounds good. I'm gonna look at all this stuff. Okay, I don't know if I know uh, how to drive a cart. <laughs> you know how to drive. <laughs> I'll go back to okay, he crashes it. you guys. Okay, awesome. Oh, uh, so, so you guys are sneaking into the house? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you hear upstairs the sound of two sets of footsteps. And the sound of struggling as well. Okay. I'm going to check out the main floor. Okay. Uh, you see that there's... It's a very old house. It still has the like, initial uh, uh, furni- I mean, oven and everything else like, like that in this house. Yeah. Very old furniture. Yeah. Very old fashioned. Uh, you don't find anything spectacularly weird or out of place or anything like this. It just seems like a very old house. Okay. Is there anything cool? Any good loot? Any? Uh, not really. You don't. Well, roll an investigation. All right. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, yeah. No, you don't find anything spectacular or anything like that. All right. Um, there's no like downstairs or anything. It's just like the two floors. Yeah, it's just two floors. Okay. Um, I guess after checking that out, I'm just gonna like head to. Um, is there anywhere actually to? Uh, hmm. No, I, I'll go up the stairs as well. Okay. After investigating around. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you see that there are three different rooms on this floor: one to the right, one to the left, and then one further up and to the right. Okay. And you hear the noise coming from the one on the left. I draw my swords and I kick down the door. Okay, uh, roll a strength check, please. Draw my sword as well. (laughs) Draw and roll two. Twelve. Twelve? Uh, you kick the door and it makes a dent, but it doesn't actually open. And then you hear silence come from the room, except except for the struggling. I'll wait a second. And roll a perception check, too. Both of you can. Sixteen. Fifteen. You both hear the sound of... A uh, sword coming out of its sheath. Uh, I, uh... Okay, so there's the two doors on the right side. How far apart are they? Uh, it'd be about 15 feet apart. Um, the one that's, like, closer to us, on, like, yeah. on the right there, I'm gonna stand on to the side of the door with my sword at the ready, so, like, it opens up. Yeah, you don't hear any sounds from the doors on the right is it, side. Is it's it, like, the sword? Those... Did the sword come from that? From the left room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... No, actually, I'll put myself against that wall then. And okay. then have my sword at the ready there. Okay. For that door. Uh, I'll just kind of wait a couple seconds and listen and see what they're up to. Okay. Uh, again, you can just hear the struggling. Okay. Well, I'll kick down the door again. Okay. Ryan will actually help with this. I got a 14 this time. I'll just headbutt it. <laughs> Ryan, you got a 19 plus whatever his strength is. So you guys are easily able to break through the door, and you see that there's uh, one guy right next to, pretty close to the door, like with the sword out and ready to swing. And you see one, you see a dwarf that looks almost exactly like Ryan, tied up in a chair with a gag over his mouth, and behind him is a guy with a sword. Okay, that's creepy. It's ready. Jeez, you've got a hostage situation. Or a fetish situation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do a dexterity saving throw as you enter this room. Because this guy's going to swoon as soon as anyone enters. Easy. Ten. Uh, you are hit with a uh, longsword. <laughs> and longsword is d10 of its two-handed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll take nine, ten points of damage. Okay. Wow. And then, uh, roll initiative, please. Yes! Oh my goodness. All right. I'm so excited. I got so great that we didn't go. All right. <laughs> All right. Now we don't have to fight anyone. You guys don't know where you're going. Or kind of. Well, we really. know where to go yeah, fight direction. Uh, um, I got a four, so. Just, just so you know. Our plan What's... was flawless. It worked so good. It was so good. When does our, uh... Nazareth, Nazareth, what, Nazareth, what did you get? 17. For number for uh, initiative, 
What is that in relation to? Dex. dex. It is just your dex mod. Oh, okay. So if you have plus two ah. index, it's plus two initiative. Oh, that's... I'm a big dummy. Sorry, I'm at five then. I realized okay. that my number was wrong. I forgive you. Thanks, Clint. I got you, dude. Forgiveness is hard. Especially when you try to forgive yourself. Okay, so... Uh, the bandit that's be, uh, behind uh, the dwarf says, Leave now or I'll cut his... Fucking throat. Oh Ooh, shit, he's those aggressive. Are fighting words. That's um, aggressive. Boy knows how to talk. And Lazarus, go to you're the first one to go in initiative. Cool. Crikey, so, he's angry. Since I took a short rest, my face step is oh. reusable. So I'm going to teleport behind him. He takes. <laughs> uh, he takes no one. <laughs> point no of fire <laughs> damage. Oh my, I'm a no shindy. <laughs> he takes yeah, one point of fire damage and then I'll use my action to hit him with slight and death okay. damn you're prepared for battle like always <laughs> right do all this cool shit I am too yeah just no not me so much you're gonna die <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that Sebastian 22 <laughs> and a 16 nice uh both hit dope can't believe you're saying this dude. I don't even care. What? Can't believe you're saving this dude. Uh, I don't even care. It's because you're undead. You guys don't have emotions. Uh, 19. Emotion. 19 damage? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My emotion is cold. <laughs> what an interesting group of people we are. We got a really Scooby-Doo I'll actually use slight, <laughs> uh... Special mod too, and add a sneak attack. Okay. So it's just another D six. Okay. I looked up. Holy smokes! Clean. We need to do another yeah. Halloween oh. special. I because I need to play so Kenneth again. Another two yes. damage, so twenty one damage. Twenty one damage. Wow. Well. <laughs> Give me the pig skin. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Trying to fight. <laughs> uh. So. He was not expecting... It was actually 23 damage because of the one fire damage. So, he is not looking good at all. Um, you blew his mind. <laughs> he was not expecting any of this, and... Turns you, says thank you. You stab, in, stab him in the back, he takes fire damage, takes neco- necrotic damage, and... Uh, as you stab him, he... he act, it's so much force, he actually drops his sword... And almost fall falls down, but just catches himself before he does. But he does not have a weapon on him now. Wow, he's annihilating this dude's whole life. And then, and as oh yeah, as he falls, I kind of point at him with my sword and like, "You've slighted me. Now it's time to die." <laughs> oh god, it's a day of death. <laughs> yeah, Single time to battle. die harder. <laughs> It's a good day to die hard. <laughs> uh, so Ryan will go next. Uh, and he just says something. We should have asked for his character. Sheet. Yeah. Uh, he's going to use his new double-sided sword. He's going to swing once yeah, yeah. at the guy at the door with one side and swing again with the other side. I forgot he's got like the Thanos double-sided blade yeah. thing. Yeah. Destiny still arrives. Uh, he hits with his first attack. I can't remember what I said the weapon does uh, damage. for damage. I think it's just a regular I think it's a long sword. Long sword. Maybe plus one long sword. Maybe. I'll say this. You can literally say whatever you I want. I know, yeah. Uh, he only takes five damage. Wow. We, even when he's not here, he's still not doing anything. And he, he missed with his second hit. Wow. Probably because that thing weighs like twice he does. <laughs> He's like, whoo, and just goes straight into the ground. <laughs> I'll get you next time. I don't know how he talks. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's Ryan, dude. I'll get you next time. <laughs> Arr, I'm a pirate. <laughs> I'm Ryan Rumenheim. <laughs> oh, hardy, hard, hard. <laughs> oh, you fuck. <laughs> uh, so the thug you just hit is going to take his action to... Um, See what he'll, he'll try to <laughs> grapple you to the ground. 
So just roll a strength check. Are you going to get into a sweaty wrestling match on the floor? It's a good thing I hold up. <laughs> strength check. Yeah. Eight. You oh. beat him. Oh. You rolled a three. Well, five actually. Dude is still. Yeah, he so tries good. to tackle you and grapple you, but you're able to easily kind of shove him over so he doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Uh, next is Bandit 2. He's going to attack. Well, I, I don't want to attack Ryan because he's not actually here. So he's going to attack you, Lazarus. I'm still I mean, this. Alien Roll. I'm still on the other side of the door. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. Well, because, like, uh, the door. What happened was, like, he kicked in the door and he got yeah. attacked. And then, like, I was still, like... Well, I, I guess I would have, like, probably turned and been, like, in the doorway. Okay. So, I, I guess, yeah, if he wants to attack me, sure. he can. But killing Ryan when he's not here is the best way to kill him. <laughs> oh, by the way, you died. And I died again. Is it, re- is it really a... Uh, he misses. Oh. I knew it. It's my armor class. And then you were up. All right. Um, I'm going to okay. swing at that mofo with my long sword. She's not going to see it okay. coming. Oh, that's slipped out of my hand. One, right? I didn't see that roll coming. <laughs> slipped out of my hand. Uh, that is. What would it was a four. Oh, a four. It misses. It's nine, yeah. All right. Well, I miss him with a swinging once when I do the old uh, link up B attack and I swing around again and I <laughs> try to hit him again. So. Where did my die go? Oh, there it is. Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! All right. Uh, 19. You're right. You're right. Okay, this mofo is going to get hit. I'm using it with two hands. That's 1d10. Plus, I have my 1d4 for necrotic damage. Ooh. I know, look at me go. That's not it. Amigo. What am I doing? All right. Uh, that is a 5. And then... Uh, one necrotic damage. So six all together? Yeah. Okay. Brutal. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he just kind of takes this. It doesn't seem to be too too much room. You'd think he probably has taken harder hits. Oh, I just say, that's just an appetizer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and then Lazarus, it's back up to you. Next up is the main chorus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'll, uh, I'll slash at this guy right in front of me. Okay. Wow. Dude, we're killing it. 21 it. and a 9. 21 hits. That's still 5 damage. 5 damage. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of damage. Uh, this is, he is not looking good at all. Uh, after he tried to grapple you and went to the side, he just immediately just slashed right where he was running to, and cut him really deep and you see that he is bleeding a lot cool. uh which weapon did he just hit him with uh slight slight okay and he did not see that coming uh so next is ryan and he says our dessert time my <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna swing at the same bandit that attacked you tony oh uh, yeah uh, he hits with his first attack. What a big bum. And with the second. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Why is a better fighter than him? Does three damage. Yeah, but I'm a better cleric than him. <laughs> Ooh, That's a real bird. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he'll deal 12 damage. Weak. Uh, yeah. so. Weak sauce. <laughs> Use a spell. <laughs> If I knew his spells, I would. But, uh, so right after he attacked you, and I guess right after you attacked him back, he swung his sword one way and then jabbed with the other end, uh, just to double hit him and deal really good damage, actually. Nice. And then it is Bandit one turn, so it'll try to... Uh, this bandit has no idea what to do. He's panicking, so he's just going to try to g- tackle you again. Okay. So just roll a uh, strength saving throw. Nice. <laughs> he got a 17. Oh. 23. Uh, yeah, he hits you hard to try to knock you down, but you just stand still with your hands on your hips and 
Just take it. <sighs> uh, so then, uh, Bandit 2. He's just gonna hit you again, Lazarus. I mean, Aeon at all. I always fucking it. do that. Got a 16. Yo, one. Well, is that hit? Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, he's using his long sword. So wait a second. Um, or, what uh, happened? Did did you guys give me that armor yet? Yeah. When, I just remember about that. Oh fuck! I think we left it on your body. I don't recall if you guys gave it to me then or you held on to it. What I armor? Think that, we didn't take any armor. We just took all your shit. No, there was some armor. Yeah, the armor you found at the ba- at the bandit. Oh, space. we were gonna did give you, that to yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know if you guys. That's did still or not. in my bag of holding. Oh, okay. Then. Is it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I said I was gonna give it to you. Yeah. <gasps> Damn it! Yeah. So oh, you 15. shouldn't have pissed me off. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna tell you where the wizard is. In fact, I'll send him a raven to tell you <laughs> not to help you. I'll write him another letter. I'm not afraid of writing letters. <laughs> uh, he'll deal five damage to you. Yo, that's nothing, bro. You're barely, you're basically dead, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's gonna attack a second time, actually, because he has multi attack. So glad I didn't go to this. I dare him to. Got a twenty, dirty twenty. All right, well, that's uh, unfortunate. I'll be ten damage. I was having my phone. All right, well, you know what? That's still nothing. <laughs> Even if I die, I'll come back and haunt him. And you're up. All right. Well, this mofo um, is messing with the wrong dude, um, and I'm going to attack him back with my longsword again, um, and I'm going to slash him. I'm going to slash him upward with it, uh, two-handed, and then, yeah. The, and then I'm going to attack again after, but yep. I'll just, one attack at a time. Uh, that's 16. Yeah, it hits. Awesome. And then, oh, sorry. That's uh, so a 1d10. Uh, that is 9 damage. And then <laughs> 1 necrotic damage. So 10. Okay, so you hit him two-handed with yeah. that. I hit him upward, like straight up the middle okay. of his body. You hit him upwards, and your sword goes right into him. And you see that because of its necrotic damage, it actually starts to spread blackness. Ooh. And it all it spreads all throughout his body, and he his mouth just opens, and just stays open, and he falls to the ground, um, dead. And then I say, <laughs> "Orders up." <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that other guy is still alive, correct? Yeah. How far away is he from me? Uh, probably around ten feet away. Um, so after I swing my sword up and this guy falls, I'm going to leave my sword up and I'm going to run towards <laughs> the other guy and bring it, like, jab him down, like, downward into his body. Okay. <laughs> Please leave a five star on Yelp! <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Uh, that is a 23. Definitely hits. Awesome possum. But does it do damage? Does it do damage? Uh, Apparently it does. That's a nine. I'm not going to use that. Nine and then... Uh, four necrotic damage. Yeah, basically exactly what he said happens. It <laughs> digs right into wherever you hit him, and the necrotic uh, necromancy just spreads and spreads and spreads and turns his skin like a disgusting gray, and he just freezes on the spot and collapses still. Nice. Like, like, like he, like, collapses down my sword? Yeah. Nice. And then I say, uh, <laughs> I say... Next up, or next order, shish kebab. <laughs> oh, okay. And you have saved Ruman. Don't forget to leave a tip. <laughs> <laughs> In <That> was- hell. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go back to you guys for the last little bit. Sick. What did we find? Oh, the, you can just give me a list of all the shit he has. Uh, want. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a list later on. And give it to you, but there's a ton of sh- of stuff, so I think there were around 25, maybe 30 things. Yay! Nice. And the majority of them are mystical of some kind. There's some swords, some hats, some uh, other interesting items. But you have completed the quest for... Mi- well, actually, have completed the quest for Mr. Mithers. Sit up front with Farron and be like, Listen, buddy, I had some doubts about you, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-huh. Uh, but... I think we work well together. Well, what happened to my voice? Yeah. <laughs> you sound like... Yeah, we, uh, we, uh, we work well together, I think. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm 17 again. So. <laughs> yeah, fuck, listen, this is a fresh start for us, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, it, it, it feels fresh. All right. We have to give most of this stuff to the dude that sent us here in the first place? 
Oh, we have to but miss. Oh, okay. He's not gonna miss a couple of things. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. A little couple of uh, thingies for ourselves, I see. Yeah, exactly. Very sly. I like like, this world is cutthroat. You gotta take what you can get when you can. Okay, I'll take all of it. No! <laughs> <laughs> like, we each take one thing is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. And then the rest we get back because we made a deal. Ah, okay. Well, you know what? I, I accept that. That sounds fair. Sweet. Oh. All right, so... um. We're not killing anybody, though, right? Just the dragon. What? We're just killing the dragon. Oh, okay. Or no one else yet. Do we have to kill the dragon? You would have wanted to go kill the dragon. <laughs> the thing we just put him to sleep, really. You know? <laughs> we'll figure that out when we I get there. fought a dragon. Neither but I I. Maybe you can, like, knock him out after enough attacks. <laughs> I don't think there's such thing as rendering a dragon I don't think going to kill anything. It's kind of not... It, I, I don't feel that. I don't roll that way, if you get what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not like here's the here's the thing. I'm 17. Here, here's the thing. We will figure that out when we get there. Okay. <laughs> Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna go take a rest and like look through all this stuff. I'll let you know what we found, and then we'll each pick something, and then uh, we'll just hide it in like a burlap sack or shit. All right. Well, I'm just gonna kick this wagon into high gear. I'm just gonna whip on the reins and go, yeah, and make the horses go. Really and fast. the uh, episode just, ends. Just roll a uh, vehicle <laughs> check. We're <laughs> ending <laughs> either one. Oh <laughs> wait, check. wait. No, me, never mind. Thinking of different characters. I'm saying proficient in that stuff, but that's a different character. <laughs> Three. Uh, you like try to get them to go faster, and one goes one way, and one goes the other complete opposite way, and. I don't know. Uh, the car just like goes to stop, and the horses are uh, don't feel good after that. Okay, I'm just gonna pull the reins back and organize them, and then okay, <laughs> gentle laugh. Just a normal pace. How about me? I gave it a shot. Yeah, I've done the same thing. And that's where we leave off on this episode of a deal with demons. Oh,